you know, another really key thing too when doing tracks like this, it's very, I'm improvising. It's very improvisatory. I'm improvising right now. I don't really know what I'm going to say 10 seconds from now, but that's okay. So when you're, you know, allowing yourself to just sort of like go, what about this? What about this? What about this? Like the thing to, um, to really try to manage in the studio is not to get embarrassed and not to feel like, oh, I'm sucking. Like, I really like the movies made by Ron Howard, movie director Ron Howard, and he's a very thoughtful guy. He's a lot of sort of, I get a lot of inspiration from movie directors and the words and thoughts they have on making movies from Akira Kurosawa to Ron Howard, who got started on Happy Days, actually got started on the Andy Griffith show as a young boy. So he's been around storytelling and movie making and TV shows since birth, really. His dad was an actor, his older brother's an actor. He often cast his dad and his older brother in most of his movies. And Ron did uh, Masterclass, the Masterclass series. And, and there's a, a trailer in it, uh, a trailer for his episode. And he says the, just a beautiful thing. He says, we have to remember as creative people, most of what we do winds up as failure. And I love that because it's so true. You know, um, success, you don't learn very much from success. It's nice to have success, obviously, but... I've never really learned from it. In fact, if you have too much of it, especially too much in a short period of time, it's really stunting, you know? It really kind of inhibits growth and you start to kind of think your poop doesn't smell and just all of this ridiculous stuff. You drink your own Kool-Aid, you know? And if anything, it's not just stunting, it actually makes you sort of revert in, in growth. And all my spastic, really embarrassing failures have been the thing that if I pay attention to them, I get better and I learn a little bit of what, what not to do next time. And also hopefully a little bit of an inclination of what I should try to do next time. Not just what not to repeat, but like where maybe to aim my sights the next time. So like guitar takes like this, I don't really know what I'm going to play before I play it. And there's a bunch of people watching. And of course here we're, we're filming this, but at some point you got to get over your own thing of like, not you know like we all want to be cooler than we are i know i certainly do but you have to be willing to just like just fail just pants drop just it's you know that's what happens in the studio um and it's about collecting the best bits of that stuff that's what comping a vocal is even mixing you know sometimes mistakes in mixing can be like an accidental mute scene I know a, a lot of people know what I'm talking about. It can, it can be better than the thing you've been working on for eight hours. You accidentally, something's grouped, you hit a mute, and someone in the room is like, what's that? And then that becomes part of the mix. So I encourage, you know, if you have the luxury of some time, um, to experiment. You know, and you can experiment with uh, effects too, just guitar pedals or plugins or whatever. Just experiment, get down in the garden, dig up a whole bunch of dirt, make a mess, and don't worry about how good you look with dirt all over your face.